The Channel is a graveyard. The Mediterranean is a cemetery. The beaches are barbed wire. The sandcastles are detention centres. The living are almost the dead. But the dead are merely tragedies. Tragedy. A death that occurs untimely, unannounced, accidental. No cause, no perpetrator, no one to be held account. Our prayers and thoughts are with the deceased every time a baby's body is found. This is the slogan of an island of sirens that make shipwrecks out of refugees, make refugees out of names they decided are too difficult to pronounce, decide it's too difficult to name the consequence of the legacy of their actions, making myth out of the past, paperwork out of people. Our prayers and thoughts are with the deceased, is the slogan of an island of sirens that has sung deceptive songs for centuries. Britannia rule the waves, sung into a seashell that does nothing but roll the noise back and forth, round and round. Rule the waves, rule the waves, rule the waves, waves that choke, waves that bury, waves that submerge, boats that upturn, boats that flood bodies, bodies that flood shores. Our prayers and thoughts are with the deceased. The channel is a graveyard. The Mediterranean is a cemetery. The beaches are barbed wire. The sandcastles are detention centres. And Britain is an island of sirens. Singing centuries of songs that taunt from behind the ocean spray. A folklore of superiority. Never mentioning that the travellers were tyrants. The sailors were soldiers. The merchants were miners. The administration was a racket of wealth now limited to only those inside its shores out of reach of the children of the ghostly hands that made it. Our prayers and thoughts are with the deceased. According to some sources, sirens were also cannibals, atop islands surrounded by carcasses of their own consumption, corpses with the last drop of life squeezed out in order to pump into theirs, a circulatory system of extraction from the compost heap of history. They salivate at the stench, truly a tragedy they implore. It must stop, our prayers and thoughts are with the deceased. While the beaches are made into barbed wire, whilst the whole people are made into empty shells, sandcastles are turned into privately owned prisons, piranha-like frenzied feeding off the catchings in their nets. If the waves do not claim you for the ocean crypt, the corporate fortress will. The barricade on every street, in every workplace, on every housing contract will. This island is both tomb and tomb raider, sucking every last bit from the bones, then throwing them over its gate-kept shoulders on chartered flights, in chains and fetters, and through secret letters. But our prayers and thoughts are with the deceased. The channel is a graveyard. The Mediterranean is a cemetery. The beaches are barbed wire. The sandcastles are detention centres. The living are almost the dead. But the dead are not merely tragedies. For there are no tragedies under tyranny, and there is nothing natural about this island. Because even as deep as a trench has been dug into the sand, it can still be washed away. And even as tight as the barbed wire is coiled into the ground, it can still be uprooted. Even a life jacket filled with lead cannot take you to the ocean floor if somebody on the land holds onto your hand. The dreams of the dead are not drowned when they are, and a multitude of people holding hands is its own type of sea, that surely, when on an island of sirens who sing their own praises from atop a pile of carcasses, have the power to sink it to the ocean floor.